Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashas of Rabbi Yom and Forest, and we're continuing to talk about different Kalim vessels that we do require Tevila or do not require Tevila. Then, the Paiskin of Machlitz, the Halacha of bottle openers and the like. Paiskin, Bagbukim, or Kufsois, Mechem Machlitz, Pekakim, whether you have a bottle opener or something that you use to slash open bags, or a can opener, you do not have to be toivel these things. Why? Because they are not made specifically to touch the food. They're made to open up the bottles and the jars and the, and the, and the cans and the bags. And therefore, since they're not made for the food itself, it doesn't, even if it would, by mistake, touch some of the food, it doesn't require tevila. Klila achonas chelkis. What about a vessel that's used to prepare part of the process over here of the food that you're going to eat? If you have a vessel that's used to help prepare the food, but after you do this stage, there's still more stages to come. Kagoin sakin shchita, for example. How about the shechita knife? You shecht, you ritually slaughter the animal with a special knife. And after that's over, still you have to get it home, you have to cook it, all these things. So the shechita knife is only one stage in the process of this animal. There are those who say you do have to be toivalet. There are those who say, no, you don't have to because it's not the cooking process itself or the real preparation. Therefore, you should toivel, you should take the knife to the mikveh, however, without a bracha. If you have a needle that you use to sew up a lot of meat, or the, the let's say you have one of these uh, meats that you bear out like a cavity in there, and you stuff it, and the way you hold on to the stuffing is that you stitch it up, so, madchenes basar, or a, um, a uh, meat grinder, madchenes coffee, or a coffee grinder. So, those are stages removed from the actual cooking, but it's still getting involved in the process. Kli lisha v'kelim she'chayischim ben batzeik. So, too, you have the, uh, the vessels that you need the dough in, or that you grind up the flour. All those things you should be toivel without a bracha. Ula manchenes yerokais. However, when it comes to a vegetable grinder, I guess we'll call it like a food processor. Chayeves betevila bebracha. And there you do have to toivel with a bracha. Kitachanim ba gam yerokais and echelus chaim. Since that you're able to eat vegetables raw and you're grinding up the vegetables right now, you can eat it immediately. So therefore, that's considered direct food preparation. So too, if you have a, if, if you have a grater that you use for tepuch adama, for, for primarily use it for potatoes, since that you could use it for things like carrots and cucumbers, which once you peel them, you'd be able to eat them right away. So you would, you would toivel this uh, vegetable peeler as well. Have a wonderful day.